Council meetings are long and boring. Wouldn't it be great if they were short and unboring? This is why I have invented the five. Go right, ten minute meeting. Come on, come on. Graphics, graphics. It's all in post. You're gonna love it. Okay, Ashton City Council meeting of uh, May 16th. Uh, this one starts off with the uh, awards, saying awards uh, for the from the Historical Commission are Wednesday at the Band Shell. And now let's take a 20 minute break. And that was it. She, uh, uh, so the councilors all headed back to the chamber, but uh, the junior councilors uh, were sent back out into the room. And the, this one, and this one, and this one. Wait a minute, which one was it? Joe Lassard, this one here. And then uh, this one here uh, was the other one, Sabrina Cotta. The four of them went away for 20 minutes and nobody knew what was going on. And then they came back and pretended that nothing happened. So whatever happens didn't happen right then. Not very secret, actually. I'm not going to say, oh, by the way, uh, this guy not here today. Well, I don't know. Who know? We don't know why. And uh, so then, uh, then uh, Travel Ashland, the Travel Ashland uh, gave their quarterly report. Uh, the Travel Ashland lady said that uh, proactive partners with constantly evolving obstacles and uh, finding fertile ground for trails have helped increase lodging tax dollars. And we we're promoting Wine Month and a new YouTube channel and a visitor's guide and program analytics. And we won lots of top 10 awards and social media growth has been good. And, January through March are our softest month. Did, did Ashland make $600,000 in room taxes from October to December? It's, you made it sound like that. I don't know if that's true. And then, oh, here's exciting stuff, though. October 20th through the 22nd is the Ashland Mystery Festival with mystery dinners and events. That actually kind of sounds awesome. And then uh, the lady who runs the Welcome Center uh, on the Ashland uh, rest stop there off the 5 Freeway said, I run the Welcome Center off the uh, rest stop here in Ashland on the 5 Freeway. And so then and she goes, uh, this is when the mayor is like, she's like, hey, you're still, uh, we're still pushing um, uh, OSF, right? Aside from all that other stuff. And they asked Travel Ashland, they said, oh yeah, of course, uh, duh, duh, we're a DMO, everyone knows that. And uh, you go, well, what's a DMO? It's a destination, I didn't write down the M thing, oh, organization, some organization of some sort. So that's what they do. And then uh, city manager, Joe Lassard, he looks like this guy here, I think, this is funny fun. And he says, uh, he goes, hey, uh, Thursday is the next budget meeting, and uh, May 25th is a special city attorney hiring requirements meeting. We're hiring a new city attorney, apparently. And then uh, June 19th is Juneteenth, so that's a day off for everybody there. And then June 6th is the first uh, councilor budget meeting, so all this budget stuff's coming to council. And then July 24th, the city attorney candidate picking meeting is that day. And then a consent agenda. Everything was approved. It was mostly everybody got a liquor license. And then a uh, public forum, uh, the, uh, the original 5G lady, she's the, the main one. And she says, our 5G attorney was unfairly portrayed at the last meeting. And uh, Portland did some study on rats getting cancer. And you should put me on an ad hoc committee. Woohoo, that would be something. And then a uh, polo shirt guy. Uh, this is the sixth anniversary of Ashland becoming a city of peace. And other cities want to be like us. And Friday, May 26th. Oh, shoot, that's today. Uh, no, that's next week. We can still make it. Catalyst Ashland is hosting a peace thing. All right. And then uh, your emergency traffic route security camera policy. Oh, okay, so uh, city manager Joe Lassard, he says, uh, he says uh, we're trying to use some city cameras to help with emergency routes and uh, a proposal to add some cameras in some helpful locations that don't violate public policy and the, uh, privacy. Private, they're worried about privacy. That's very nice. And then this guy, uh, this guy's uh, uh, public works director, Scott Fleury, he chimed in. He says, uh, he goes, hey, uh, we have security cameras at a bunch of facilities and we're looking at other locations and maybe we can tie into ODOT, the Cisco Pass cameras and all that stuff. And uh, this guy goes, he goes, yeah, but those, those uh, aren't for tickets or surveillance, am I right? Right? And just double checking that they're not uh, Big Brother stuff. Okay, he's like, oh, of course not. Of course, no, yeah, everything's great. And then uh, this one goes, hey, where are we getting the money for all that stuff? And uh, this guy goes, well, every department uh, kind of has to pay for their own camera. So, uh, uh, and there are grant opportunities for that and stuff. And, so, and then this one goes, uh, where did she go? We had, I used to have a mayor, didn't we? There she is. There she is. Uh, she goes, uh, so, so council can still approve camera placements case by case in the future. And, uh, and uh, this guy, Joe Lassard, Joe Lassard, Joe Lassard. Oh, God, there he is. He's right here. <laughs> There's Joe Lassard. There he is. He's always in my hand. Uh, he, says, he goes, uh, he goes uh, yeah, everything on this map we're going to approve right now, and then anything after that we approve later on. So there's four maps, and just so you know, I'm putting this stuff on the camera. So this is, uh, is going to be, I'll show you in graphics later. There are four maps, and uh, there are six new traffic cameras and four new security cameras, 
and there are eight existing security cameras around town that people might be interested in, so keep an eye on that map. And, uh, and then a public forum on that issue was uh, the check shirt guy says, I'm, I'm in the Ashland Mine neighborhood, Ashland Mine Road neighborhood, that's a uh, north side town there. And uh, we don't want to be burned alive in our cars, we want that webcam right now. And then the beard and glasses guy also at Ashland Mine Road said, uh, cameras and connectors, that's gonna cost, we did the research, $2,500 a camera and you can block out that weird Buffalo Ranch guy's house because that's going to be aimed right at his house there. So we, we've got that all kind of dialed in. And uh, this one says, I have moved to uh, approve this policy. And uh, this guy says, uh, he goes, uh, I mean, I, I love this Ashton, my neighborhood more than my dog. They, they're the greatest. I don't know what the, I don't know why they don't get the first camera because they're so good. He loves those guys. And then uh, all approved. And then uh, uh, a special purchasing agreement for five things. Okay. Uh, Public works director Scott Fleury looks like this, because he's got a beard, he's got a beard. So he says, uh, he, he says uh, we do a lot of small asphalt repairs and we can't come and get an approval for each one. So uh, we promised to get bids from our three main vendors, but let's not do a two month public process each time we need to fill a pothole. And that seemed reasonable, it was all approved. And then the second one said, hey, same thing with purchasing city fuel, city fuel. And uh, they all said, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, we can do that again. And this one goes, just so you know, uh, there's still totally competitive bidding, right? Just so the public knows, competitive bidding at every process here, just so everybody knows that. So that was all approved. And then uh, FYI, th this might have been approved for five years. I, I double check that. This might have been approved for five years. That's a long time for things to maybe mm, go get a little squirrely. Just FYI. And then the uh, fire chief, uh, Sartain, fire chief uh, Ralph Sartain, he says, uh, he goes, hey, Nobody responded for, to our public request for providing cancer screening testing, so we have this private company we want to use, and uh, so it's going to go outside of the RFP process. And this guy goes, hey, uh, talk about how much cancer uh, the, uh, firefighters get. And uh, he goes, man, they get the most. They get so much cancer. And they're like, oh, okay. And so that was approved. And then uh, uh, wastewater cleaner, that was all approved by this guy. And then vehicle maintenance and repair, uh, Scott Flurry, uh, public works guy, says, uh, I mean, we just want to get one bid for each vehicle repair as opposed to getting a bunch of competing bids because we got to drive to different places to get bids. It's like crazy. And that was all approved. And, uh, and this is, and I'm like, like, hey, didn't you just say how great competitive bidding was on the other stuff? And so this just said no competitive bidding, just one bid, and they fixed the car. Hey, you didn't say anything about that. Interesting. And then, and then, and then uh, financial management policy updates. Uh, city deputy, deputy city finance director, Sabrina Cotta, just adorable, she looks like this kind of, and uh, she said, we dissolved some funds and added SDCs, and, uh, and she said, yeah, we changed the name housing trust fund to the housing fund, or from housing fund to housing trust fund, what's up? And she goes, well, that was just the name thing, we had to do that name thing. Uh, on a completely different point, by the way, the policy update changes uh, we're asking for the uh, we're asking for the minimum uh, general fu uh, fund balance requirement to go from 20 percent to 16.7 percent, so that the present budget process can just go just keep smoothly going along. Nothing big, just a just a budget thing, you know, biggie. And then uh, this guy goes, he goes, I guess. So if we approve this uh, this thing you're talking about, the budget thing, uh, then we have some more budget for the uh, more money for the budget process by any chance. And this one goes, oh, oh no, just the opposite. If you don't approve it, we have to go back and rework the entire budget because the city created a budget that they gave, they brought, they presented a, 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 a budget proposal. And over the last three, four months, they've been putting it together. And they built the whole budget based on the city general fund uh, uh, reserve balance going from 20% down to 16%. And then they presented the budget saying, it's get 60%, this is how much money we'll have, and this is our budget. And they've all been talking about it for three, four weeks. And then all of a sudden, two days before they have to go to another budget meeting, this one goes, oh, by the way, uh, you as a council have to change the budget minimum from 20 to 16, or the whole budget goes in a garbage can. Uh, by, and that will happen on two days from now. And so, so they, did they not tell them accidentally? <laughs> you tell me. Uh, so this one says, uh, so they all capitulated. Let me just put it that way. They all capitulated. This one says, uh, this, but they, they knew. They go, I want more future in the information. More, more information in the future. They go, you know, I was like, this isn't right. And then uh, this guy goes, uh, uh, this one goes, I, I, I want more heads up in the future. And, uh, and this one goes, this is bullshit, I'm voting no. 
And uh, and then the mayor, of course, says, uh, yo, yo, we have to, we have to do this. Hey, we have got to do it. And then uh, this one says, uh, you know, <laughs> this one says, well, uh, what if, what if it, uh, we get the first bite of the apple, and then what if there were two apples, and we, and okay, right, I, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'll go, I'm going along. And so he also approved four to one against. Uh, so the uh, uh, budget process is continuing on, and our safety net has gone down, and there was no discussion about it at all with the rest of you people, you idiots. And then uh, budget funding priorities. Uh, there was, there was a list of unfunded needs, and somebody made this new list. I think they made the study session on Monday. And a lot of firefighter funding, a lot of firefighter funding, all approved. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then this one goes, uh, where is she again? Oh, yeah, God, Sabrina Cotta, she's the best. She's adorable right there. There she goes, she looks like that. And she goes, hey, goes, hey uh, you know, you should add a million dollars for any electrification emergency efficiency stuff in the budget. So that's 500,000 per year for the next two years. And uh, that's for this budget coming up right now. And she's like, hey, wow, well, where, where's that money coming from? She goes, oh, yeah, there's an um, ending fund balance in the electric fund. It's, uh, there's plenty of money in there. It's going to be great. And, and so they, they added that to this budget, which is two days from the meeting. And uh, this one says, oh, I approved that. And they all approved it. And then uh, the urban renewal community forestry, you know, the nonprofit forestry guy. In, uh, he said, in order to get grants to create urban forestry plans for all communities in Jackson and Josephine County, he needs a letter of agreement from the city of Ashland. And uh, the Ashland Tree Commission lady showed up and says, I recommend we write this letter because he's a cool dude. And uh, I, actually, in the description of my video, I'm going to have a link to his presentation. It's about uh, 18 minutes. And he talks about urban forestry. It's really actually very cool. I know the, and I, I know the guy. His name's Mike. And uh, he's really great. So uh, he knows a lot about trees and stuff. And then this guy goes, he goes, hey, uh, I, I move to approve, we should write that up. And then, and then early learning, uh, ad hoc. Uh, this one says, I created this, uh, the book for, where is she? God, doggy, where would she go? There she goes. Uh, and she says, uh, I created the organizational document for this new ad hoc committee. And uh, it's for, uh, for early learning stuff. And everyone loved it, and everyone thought it was the best. And then this guy did actually, I add in, he goes, hey, you got to add an element where making all of this information is easier for people to find for in the city and so Ashland City Government's going to make information easy to find on the website. Woo good luck with that. And, uh, and that was it all approved. End of meeting, oh my God. Ah, oh, so long, so long. Oh, God. That was too, uh, so much.